All right, so today we are looking at the quick summary package that I created for cricket analysis. So what this package does is, here is a website, cricksheet.org. They have so many data about cricket matches. So around from after 2003, okay. After 2005 around, they have all matches in the, in these files. So they have categories. So if you want to download all the matches, they have all the files related to it. You want test matches only, you want multi-day, one-day matches. They have IPL matches also. So that's how brilliant this website is. And all the data is uh, available for free. So what this package is doing is, quick summary, it converts this. See what this data looks like the crick sheet.org they have data in this format yaml files they have yaml files so all this data is uh, the information the city where the match is conducted date and everything the information is given in this format and then the match starts okay so what happened on the first match uh, first delivery who was the batsman who was the non-striker who was bowling what happened how many runs scored how many extras on that particular ball and so on so on and what happened to the second ball third ball and in, then in second over what have what is happening everything is stated in this format so <clears throat> obviously this format is not helpful for us for doing some kind of analysis so that's why i created a package that can convert this yaml file into a data frame so we have a pandas data frame which is very uh, famous and easy to use package python package for data analysis so that's why i chose that library so i converted all of this uh, i created this package to convert the yaml file to the data frames or here we can see it also uh, this library also have functionality to convert that yaml file into csv files then we can also create separate data frames for both the teams opening team or and this team that played second innings and all kind of graphs are also present and some more functionalities so uh, let's start by installing the package so we simply have to say pip install quick summary so this will install all the necessary files I think okay it is already installed site package is 0.0.2 why is it 0.2 I have recently updated it to 0.3 as we can see here 0.0.3 see seven minutes ago I fixed some issues and re-uploaded it <clears throat> so let's check once again what's the version of this I think we can check it like this print Break summary okay so we have to first of all import we will import quick summary and we'll print out the version of it quick summary dot turn score score version and I'll try to run it no attribute version okay okay it doesn't have any attribute old version anyways hmm we can save it and we'll try to run it again and we can see first of all we all we have to do is from quick summary we have to import this class which is named to runs so we'll instantiate and whatever the file we need so I'm importing the special uh, especially the file India versus Sri Lanka, the match that happened in the World Cup 2011 finals. So that's what I want to do. See, so I am saying, so instantiate this as a match object. And what is the match that I want to instantiate? This one, 433606. Here in the last, in the last, they have readme.txt. In that file, they have given all the mappings to these files see 21 11 2020 what uh, which might have which match happened and what is the id of that file dot yaml we have to say like this 
सो आई ओपन दैट फाइल 2011 वर्ल्ड कप फाइनल सो आई से आई हैव इंस्टेंशिएटेड द मैच ऑब्जेक्ट एंड देन आई एम प्रिंटिंग आउट द समरी सो लेट्स सी व्हाट्स इन देयर ओके सो इट ऑटोमेटिकली प्रिंट्स आउट द फर्स्ट इनिंग्स द समरी ऑफ द फर्स्ट इनिंग्स सो वी कैन सी ओके कुमार संगकर जयवर्धने ही स्कोर्ड हंड्रेड ओके करेक्ट ही हिट Thirteen boundaries. Okay, that's interesting. So it also shows uh, India versus Sri Lanka. Okay, this match was between these two teams. Who won? India won by six wickets. Okay, fall of wickets is present. First wicket fall on seventeen wickets. I think Zaheer took the first wicket. I don't remember. Okay, so twelve run extras. And now what? We, what if we want to see? the summary of team is equal to 2 so i'll say team is equal to 2 and try to rerun it and uh, here we have the summary of we already know gambhir scored see the brilliance of gambhir he scored only four nine boundaries and he have 97 runs so he persevered and he took us to the victory Okay, so 91 runs scored by Mahendra Singh Dhoni. He finished it off in style. <laughs> okay, so that's the basic functionalities. And what if we want to see? What if we want to see match dot? Hmm, there must be some plot Manhattan. So that's what we are going to say. So we'll run it again and matplotlib figure will pop out so this is for the team one okay i must have done something like this on the, in the title which team of which team this package uh, is referring to is this diagram is referring to okay so what happened in the first over in the last over yes uh, we know i think Pereira was the best man he scored so many runs in the over of zaheer khan so we can see the 50th over around 18 runs got scored okay so what happened with the team two team two which is india india was biting for the second inning and the manhattan for india will pop up now okay in the second last over dhoni hit the six we can see it here hmm fine fine everything is looking fine okay wonderful so these are the main functionalities we can also see some more functionalities by saying print directory of match oh let me comment these out and we'll see what are the some functionalities we have okay we can check summary we can check the data frame for team one team two this warm plot match okay okay we have these functionalities let's see some more visualization so we'll say match dot match dot mm, what we'll say match dot plot plot warm plot warm so this functionality we have and we'll say and we'll try to run it and uh, and something will should pop up yes here is a warm so this is the team one team one means team one means sri lanka because the team one who is the one team one is the team which batted first team two is the bad mm, team which batted second so this is how it is going and in see India was playing pretty ahead of the Sri Lanka and in the end India wins okay so everything is looking fine till now what more functionalities can we see we can check we can check something like we'll print the data frame so we'll print match dot team one dear okay so it will pop up the 
data frame for the team one which is Sri Lanka so we can see here is a data frame so everything is given from ball one to ball the match ended so here is the data frame present and you can by declaring a date uh, df is equals to match dot team one dot df so that's how you can create a data frame save it in a data frame and do your analysis on that particular data frame and you can also say it like this so df and df2 is equals to comma match dot team 2 df so that how, that's how you can access the data frame for both the teams and there was one more functionalities there was one more functionality functionality which was to convert these data frame to a csv file obviously we can say it like this df2 csv because this is a data frame and all the functionality is related to pandas data frame applies here so we can say to csv so we will say final dot csv so this will be related to sri lanka and this is the data frame related to india so we'll say it like this and we will comment this out and rerun this one okay so now we should have one file two files related to okay so here we can see final india.csv final sri lanka.csv and in the excel we can see uh, the data frame is present so innings number is two over this this is the first over second over what happened on the 2.4 sri lanka Sachin Tendulkar is batting. Gautam Gambhir is in uh, non strike. Sri Lanka dot ball. Extras, how many extras? Seva got out in, I think, second. Oh, yes, second ball. So that's how easy it is to use this quick summary package. You can do your own analysis by converting the data frames to a CSV or you can use the current method that are available in the package so that's it for the introduction of this quick summary package if you want to know more about this and if you have some more ideas that you want to integrate in this package so do let me know and if you have any queries you can directly ask me on the mail itself uh, or youtube comments are always there okay so thanks guys and <coughs> If you, uh, so many people are coming to me, uh, mailing me about, can you help me in my college projects? And I see some of you are, you are hesitating. So don't hesitate. Please feel free to ask me. I'll definitely help you in, in your projects. Uh, whatever related to, whether they are related to Python, machine learning, or uh, some kind of data analysis or web scraping. I am there to help. Okay, so thank you for today and we'll see you when I create the next video about this quick summary. I want to take it further. Please do help me and contribute if you can. Okay, so thanks.